NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. I was surprised when that announcement came out earlier today uh, because I think in the last couple of years it's been like the 24th or the 25th of this month that oh, really? it's closed. Yeah. I haven't ke kept track. It's probably because of the snow tomorrow and the forecast mm -hmm. is just yep. enough that they think uh, it's, you know, it's not going to matter. Might as well just do it now. So, do yeah. It now. <laughs> yeah. And we've had a lot of nice weather to enjoy mm -hmm. it too. This is where the snow is right now. It's an estimate. The radar is always tough this time of year to really use for a good idea of where it's snowing. The mountains kind of block the beam, all those different things. But we have the airport reports and uh, the snow line roughly somewhere northern Adirondacks down through Middlebury. Definitely in Springfield. Visibility there 1.75 miles. Wherever you see the 10 though, not quite snowing yet. So not in Burlington, not in Plattsburgh. I know you see it here, but that's just an example of what I was just explaining. A lot of the flakes very high in the sky and it's kind of a broken radar image. Not very impressive, but a little pull out here shows that it's way more steady down by Albany and then into northeastern Pennsylvania. So once this really lifts in like seven o'clock tomorrow morning, that's our best chance for accumulating snow. So it takes a little while for it to ramp up. And then once it does so, it doesn't last very long, only a couple of hours, but it is poorly timed first thing in the morning. Church Street dry for now. Temperature is sitting at 33 and the air is dry. So once it starts to snow enough, the temperatures crash to 32, maybe even colder than that by a little bit should be on the wetter side at least initially and that could create some icing on the roads before any accumulation on top of that. It's a little bit near the lake like one or two inches of snow up to eight inches or more in the highest summits. So a big range based on elevation Saranac Lake for example right now 26 still 34 in Lebanon. So we'll cool to freezing or just a little below as this snow really picks up. Two o'clock though, it's still struggling. See the difference though, eight in the morning, it's really blue. And that's the heaviest band, about eight o'clock in the morning. It is mixing or changing to rain south of Rutland in Lebanon along Route 4 and pulling out by 12 noon. That's what I mean, just not a very long duration event. So in terms of how much, we're thinking uh, generally a dusting to two inches on the lake shore but a big difference once you go inland. So south of Malone, two to four inches, could be four plus right there near Lion Mountain and Dannemora. Also a huge area of four to eight inches. That includes pretty much all of Washington County, Vermont, up towards Hardwick. That little speck there would be eight or more south of Sugarbush in the highest elevations. Notice the huge range here though. Route 7 south of Rutland, barely anything. We'll say a dusting, an inch or two maybe but then two to four east of the Green Mountains is over towards Springfield and Brattleboro. So likely a, a little bit of a tougher situation there, but low temperature is close to freezing tonight, just below, that's how it sticks. These highs won't happen until after the snow stops. So I think uh, upper 30s, low 40s in the mid afternoon, and that'll really help make things wet as opposed to snow covered and icy. Just takes a little time to get there. And then the clouds kind of linger for Thursday, Friday. Some snow showers, not a big deal though for most of us. The weekend looks pretty good, 30s and some sunshine in there. And it's a long ways out, but for Thanksgiving, maybe 40s, a little bit of rain or snow in the area. Brian, Alice? All right, Tyler.